Okay. So you got your practice. Okay. So you got your game here. And you come across a big massive door. Uh oh, what am I gonna do? You go up to it, you hit the you hit the activate key. Uh oh, that doesn't work. Alright. But oh look, there's a there's an object right over here. Let's collect that. Let's collect what that's given us. Then we hit E on that. And oh look, the door is gone. So what we got here is are a common problem in video games which you have the lock and key. And this is gonna be kind of a simplified version of the lock and key. Um and yeah, trigger that intro. Alright, so first I want to mention the Unity App Store. Um, some of the files, like the first person camera and stuff like that, uh, is going to be from the standard assets in the, Un in the Unity App Asset Store. So I recommend getting that um, for your basic cam for your basic character and yeah, 2d 3d stuff like that all right so let's go to the original file here but you have a key that doesn't have anything to it the door you have our cube here which is just a placeholder image and you have your fps character which we'll rename to player there we go so first what we want to do is we want to create an empty game object now we're just going to name this uh uh, real door. And what we want to do is we want to put it on to the door. So like basically you're like right on top of it. Uh, excuse me. We want to put it right on top of it like that. Yes. And now we're gonna. And now we're going to make it the parent of the door. Uh, yes, I believe that's what it's called. <laughs> um. Yes. 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 All right. Next, what we want to do is we want to create an animation for this game project. So, add, add component animation, boop. And then, with this open, we're gonna hit Control Six. Control Six opens up the animation window. We want to create a real door animation for for real door. Yes. Um, I'm gonna back out of here. Go to assets. Go to created content. I have a folder animation with the other ones. Uh, um, let's see. Ba, 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 a video uh, tutorial an actual door. Which will tell us that. And we're going to add property of a transform on the position. And what we want to do is boop here. We're going to record. Well, actually, we're going to start here record what we do and here we want to put the door all the way down and so hopefully yep we got it all working there there we go and so now we have that um, for our real door oh and make sure to put the animation in whoops there we go boop bada boop do not play automatically and there we go so now it's set up for Oh, because I kept it on 100. Yeah. Uh, yes, so now that's good. Create animation. All right, now we're going to go into key, our key here, and we're just going to add a simple. So you'll go into your key here and you'll create a sphere. Whoops, spelled it wrong. Sphere collider. There we go. Um, now you want to make the radius something bigger than the circle so that um, your character can actually collect. I prefer two because um, you have to get get up right up close to it. You can then get it. Um, yeah, there we go. There's that. And oh, also we want to make it a trigger. Uh, add to game object. Go to real door. Now go to real door, not your actual door. The real door, or or the real door in in the Alright, so the real door 
so the game object real door you want to use add component to it and we're going to add a box collider to it specifically the 3d version but it'll just be named box collider and we're going to make it a trigger and then we're going to make it really big so we're going to make it 100 by 100 by 100 well let's put it to eh, we'll put it 20 we'll put it 20 just so you just get right up onto it and boom there you go and then one more thing we want to add a to the player um actually we do have the it does have you know everything is looking okay onto it but just in case just in case and if you're working with a different one if you're working with your own personal one you will want to add a capsule collider now i i i, I won't be i won't say that if i know confidently that the that the character controller will work but i am confident in saying if you had the capsule collider you'll be completely safe so even if uh so if you're working with this even if you already have you see the uh circle or whatever or whichever one yeah the circle here i would still add the capsule uh collider just to be safe um everything default in here will work just fine for us now we're going to get to the script versions we're gonna create a folder here and we're gonna create and we're gonna go video um, video uh, tutorial tutorial real I probably spelled that I definitely spelled tutorial wrong and but uh anyways we're gonna create two C sharp scripts we're gonna go create C sharp script the first one is going to be named um, tutorial door and the other one is going to be named tutorial key. Now in the key script, we're gonna open it up, double click on it. Um, also make sure, oh, also um, for this to work, you also wanna have the Microsoft Visual Studio. So this comes kind of basic, it's, it's still free, which is good. So for what we're doing, um, we do not need void and update or void start and void update, we do not need it. All we'll need is a public, well, let me actually, oop, public compo component door, door collider. There we go, that looks good. Um, and then we're gonna add to a void, we're gonna add on trigger stay. I'm gonna put parentheses for that and then the curly braces and in the packets we're gonna put if the input is for is a key and the key is an e then what we want is for the door collider oops let me actually go all the way back boop 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 door collider here oh whoops it's just actually door collider is going to get the component of the box coll collider and what we're going to do is enable it enable it to be true whoops there we go um now because we don't have this link to anything if you try if if you try to run it right now you're going to get the code saying oh no this doesn't link to anything but we will but we will link that to something in a minute now we're going to go to door our tutorial door and what we're going to do is the same exact thing we're going to delete void start void update and we're going to put in as public animation animation here and then we're going to add the void command of on trigger stay and what we're going to add into the brackets is if the input put is of the get key command is key code dot e you're going to Uh, enemy. Well, 
yep animation here dot play there we go that should be good save that save that all right and so now both these codes should be all right to start <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, I feel dumb, but that should get away that console. So now everything works. Yes, yes. Boom. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. So what we're, we're going to do now is gonna add the video tutorial. Oh, whoops. Actually, that's the wrong one. There we go. We had the real door. To that so now the real door animation is linked into the tutorial door so what that will mean is that when we hit e when we hit e on the door that when we hit e on the door that means the animation for that going down will play and because of that then the door will also go down and make a new tutorial yes we already did that and now we're going to add oh, oh, oh also for this we're going to turn off the actual thing so now it's going to be invisible so that when the key is activated the real door will actually turn on so we're going to go so we'll just see how it works right now show you it real quick we're going up hitting e not working uh oh but now we go to real door activate the box collider this is what our key is doing boom goes down so yeah, you want to turn that box collider off, and then you go, then you'll go to your key, add the key script to it. Whoops, there we go. Oh, I actually that's the wrong one. There we go. Boom, bang, boom. The new key is in there, and then we're going to link this game object to that door right there. So you can see now, this is being referenced with the key. The key will now be able to then directly influence the real door and the real door because it has the the uh, script into it bada bing bada boom and there we go so now it should work work as intended so as you can see you go up hitting e not working you go over here um if you prefer you can add some uh code to make this uh, delete itself or or destroy itself. Um, I like to prefer to keep it here um, Just in case anything goes wrong. I can always go back to it and we're up to the door and we hit E and There it goes goes right down All right, and if you ever and here's a, a bonus 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 um one if you wanted to create this into a Into a switch puzzle all you need to do is first you would need to unlink the real door. All you need to do, oops, uh oh, what did I do? Oh, that's the link the door from the real door. And all you would need to do is just make this surround the actual uh, the actual key here. Activate the box collider. We're gonna make it smaller here. Oop, whoop, whoop, it, it. There we go. Move this here. Hopefully that's on top. No. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there, folks. There we go. Oh, and we're going to expand its size. There we go. Now it surrounds it. And now we're going to link it right back to the real door. And so now we can also activate that box collider. Though, even if the box collider was not active, it would still work. I'd like to point that out. Go over. Now this is acting as a trigger. Boom, bang, boom. There it goes down. Um, I want to check. Because it looked a little bit weird. You might have to uh, work a little bit on the animation. But, if you want to just turn it into a quick door, there you go. Um, I hope this tutorial helps you in some way. And, yeah. I'll see you guys very next time. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely day. Please subscribe and goodbye.